Hey everybody, this is Griffin McElroy for Polygon.com with a quick guide on how to take down Mikolash, host of the Nightmare, one of the last few bosses that you will face in Bloodborne. Uh, Mikolash is kind of a pushover if you know exactly what you're doing. I would say the bigger uh, foe in this fight is the maze that this fight takes place in. You want to start off by chasing him up these stairs. He will turn right, just stay on him. Uh, when he turns right again to go down this flight of stairs, turn back uh, and, and run back the way you came. Watch out for the puppets uh, in, in this fight because they can actually hit pretty hard. And if you get hung up on walls like I did there, you're in trouble. Run back the way you came and turn left at this junction. You'll see him. You want to chase him into this room where he will be cornered and you can do uh, a fight with him that will take down half of his health. Uh, don't do what I did here. Make sure you take out the puppets first uh, because they will attack you while you're trying to take down Mikolash. Uh, in this first phase of the fight, Mikolash only has one attack he'll do and it is the, the tentacle attack you saw me get hit by earlier. He telegraphs this attack with like from a mile away, uh, so it's really easy to dodge. Just sidestep diagonally to the left or right towards him, and you'll get out of the way of it and can hit him uh, with a long combo of attacks. If you can, try and get him in a corner or against a wall because he does uh, uh, do a lot of sidestepping and, and back jumping, and uh, if he's cornered, then you can basically just take him out this entire phase uh, in, in just a few combos without him doing anything about it. Uh, halfway through, once his, his health is halfway down, uh, turn back and start running. Uh, watch the puppets again and immediately turn right and go up this flight of stairs. Uh, this part can get tricky, so uh, you may want to watch this video before you try the fight uh, again uh, because you don't want to get lost here. Run down that hallway, turn right to go up the flight of stairs, uh, and uh, watch out for the enemies on the steps there. One of them has a, a crossbow that they can shoot you and hit you with a status effect. Go through this door and repeat the process again. Chase him up the flight of stairs. Uh, you will see him uh, go left here. Yes, go left. And he jumps in through a mirror. Oh, God, where did he go? Uh, don't, uh, don't go that way. Turn back. Run back down the stairs the way that you just came. Uh, you're going to turn right here, and you will see a hole in the floor. Uh, this is the room that he jumped into. Drop down. He will run through that hallway. Uh, you will chase him, and a gate's going to drop. So obviously you can't go that way. This part is kind of uh, annoying uh, because it, it, I don't know, it's kind of a labyrinth and remembering where to go, uh, when to turn can be kind of tricky, but run up both flights of stairs. You'll be back where you were, where you dropped down into that room. Keep going up. You're going to turn right. You're going to see, whoa, don't roll off that bridge. That's not there yet. Uh, instead, go off to the right here and there will be another hole in the ground. Uh, get ready yourself. Heal up if you need to before you drop down this hole because this is where the rest of the fight takes place. Uh, do more hits on him. So in this phase of the fight, he will do regular melee attacks that hit for almost no damage, but they can uh, interrupt your combos uh, and, and stagger you and let him hit you with his tentacle attack, which is much more powerful. Uh, in this phase of the fight, he has one more magic attack that he will do. Uh, that shoots magic uh, bolts into the air that will trace you on the ground. Uh, if you can time your dodge just right, you'll, you'll be able to avoid those, but uh, even if you do take the hit, they don't do a devastating amount of damage. This is that attack right there. Uh, yeah, it takes out about half my health bar, but uh, not too big a deal because you can just run right up on him and start wailing again. He's really, really easy. Uh, it's just it's easy to get lost in that maze. Um, so just follow the route that I took in this video and you'll be just fine. Uh, one thing to note is before you leave this area, make sure you look around and collect all the items. There is a key that you're going to need later on in this maze. There's also a upgraded version of the moon rune that you're definitely going to want to get that gives you uh, increased blood echoes anytime you kill an enemy. Uh, so yeah, definitely don't leave this area until you have scoured it for, for all of the uh, items that are hidden. Uh, that's it for Mikolash, though. Thank you all very much for watching. We are uh, just about done with uh, Bloodborne, and uh, we will see you in our next boss guide video. Thanks for watching, and good luck.